Good morning everybody, it's Minen and Beyond, welcoming you back to the world of Pokemon Platinum. In the last episode, we made it to the highest point in Mount Coronet. We are now atop of the Spear Pillar. Pillar is now banned from this household! And I promise that's the last time I'm going to say that. In this episode, there's nothing left to do but to take down Team Galactic once and for all. Let's do this. Our boss is about to do something spectacular. Don't get in the way. Of course you will, won't you? That's why the two of us will team up to take you down in an epic duel. You're a couple of grunts. You can't have an epic duel. But whatever, we made it to the top. So we got a double battle right here. They have four Pokemon starting with Krogunk and Stunky, it seems. And then we're going with Chimchar and Krikatoon, the original duo. Let's see how this goes. I probably should have healed beforehand, but I love to live on the risky side. I'll do Fire Punch on uh, Krogunk, and then X Scissor on Stunky. Let's see how that goes. We should be good with getting rid of Stunky one hit, because Krikatoon's been really good with that. A lot more than I would expect, which I really much appreciate. Chimchar, let's see if we can do the same. If we get a double knockout, that'd be amazing. And... Oh, we are good. Very nice, you two. Okay, Chimchar goes to level 44. Right before taking on the boss once again. And there we go. Another Krogunk, of course. I'm sure it's going to be another Stunky. Oh, a Glammy, I'm mixing it up just a teensy little bit. I appreciate it. Uh, we'll do... Uh, I guess another Fire Punch on Krogunk. And I guess we'll do x on Glammeow. Let's use the Sunker Punch. Okay, this one's a little bit quicker this time. And somehow survived that. Okay. Let's see if we take it out one hit. Uh, yes I can. Perfect. Or in Glammeow's case, perfect I can. Sometimes I could do the rolling R, but other times it just, like, fails horribly. But if we could get a knockout, that'd be great. There we go. Got nothing to worry about. Come a long way, that's for sure. And Krikatoon grew to level 44. The toughest of all the grunts. That was me! They really have an elite grunt leaderboard thingy? Okay, sure, whatever. And Chimchar is evolving! Yeah, it's gotten old. We are not capable of slowing you. We will let you pass so you could get pulverized by our bosses. Guess before we take on those bosses, how's about we switch around to some other Pokemon? Just for safety's sake. And let's head over to the final three. Where do you think you're going? I won't let you disturb our boss. If you're not going to listen, you'll have to go through me first. After all, you've made me look bad more times than I can remember. And I'll be next. You might be tough, but this time the gloves are coming off. Hold on one second! Don't you start the party without me! Huh? Remember me? I'm here to get my revenge! Huh, if it isn't that little boy. That little crybaby from Lake Acuity. Did you toughen up a bit? Sure, let's battle two on two. Got a surprise double battle at the last second, teaming up with Barry! Now, Barry is uh, kind of an awkward teammate to have right now. On one hand, we technically have 12 on 6, which makes it very, very easy to not lose this. Though, keep in mind, if you uh, lose all the all of your Pokemon, you can't continue on with just Barry's. It doesn't work like that. Uh, but for Barry's case, he starts out with a Munchlax, which is, I guess, a jerkish way of him being all like, Hey, I got a Munchlax, you didn't. <laughs> he was able to find one legitimately somehow in some way, which is amazing. But also, it is a really stinking useless teammate to have in this fight because it does nothing but stink and stockpile and swallow and sometimes spit up. It's really stinking annoying. So honestly, if you have a surfing Pokemon with you, I would recommend just using that right away and um, having that be like, um, get rid of it immediately so we can just switch to another Pokemon basically because it is really stinking annoying to have to deal with this thing. So let's try Thunderbolt this time, see if that does a bit more. Though it's at the halfway point, so I guess I wouldn't really know if it did more or not. And, okay, we're good. Ooh, critical hit. That's also going to make it hard to determine whether or not it does more than Shadow Ball. Let's see, Extra Sensory. Of course, they're going for Rotom instead of Munchlax. I would very much appreciate this Munchlax getting kicked out of here, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. 
And he's using Stockpile. Like, honestly, if you get rid of this Munchlax, then it will be very much in your favor. Uh, but Stun Tank, or Scun Tank is next. It's like sticking his butt out, of course, as usual. Uh, I guess I'll go for Thunderbolt on Scun Tank. See if we get rid of it. I don't know if it's going to be a one-hit KO, though. It is pretty tough. Yeah, okay. We're going to have to fight a little bit. And Night Slash. Uh-oh. Don't like dealing with that. Really don't like dealing with that. Oh, boy. Okay. Probably should have gone for the Bronzor. I might have had a chance at knocking out with a Thunderbolt. But oh, no. who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Let's see. Munchlax is going to take hardly any damage because of the stockpile. And then it'll end up healing itself with Swallow, probably. And okay, that was a really nice thinking critical hit with that. Probably send out a Bomb of Snow now and just take it out with. Oh, okay, maybe not with the Stitches Berry, but Bomb of Snow is next to my list, so I will take him out right now. They have like kind of similar shapes when you look at them side by side. Looks like the. I don't know what you call them, but like in My Neighbor Totoro, how you have like the white versions of the mini Totoros or whatever. I know that Munchlax and Snorlax are sort of based off Totoro as well as like one of the. Oh, hey, I have Earthquake! Goodbye, Munchlax! Oh god, oh jeez, I don't want to see a flamethrower come out of the stinking Skuntink's butt. It's almost as gross as seeing the sand attack come out of Umbreon's butt. No, 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 come on. I was hoping I could at least survive one attack. Of course, it never works out like that. Now Munchlax is confused. So we're accomplishing nothing right now. Let's see, yep, yeah, Harris self confusion. Alright, I'm gonna try to. Oh, now we got the hail going on. I'll attempt to get Munchlax out of here by using Surf, I guess. Because uh, that might be our best option, just so we can actually have a competent partner. Let's go with Floatzel. And oh, this is a great screenshot of the two of them. Can't even see Munchlax or can't even see Floatzel's face right now. Let's go with Surf. Takes out Skuntank at least, so that's nice. And goes for Bronzor. What are we going to do? Uh, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Oh, okay, well, at least we'll get the hail to take it out afterwards. Get a lot of experience from that. An extra sensory. Thank you for attacking Munchlax. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, my god, hardly does anything. Of course, it flinches. Then we get the hail effect. I like how we're all working together to get rid of sinking Munchlax. Like, I don't know, just a weird, funny concept. I guess when you had to have a 12 on 6 battle, then they had to make it a bit difficult for us. Her ugly! Because there was a chance you could go through this entire battle without seeing any of his other Pokemon. Because they just always attack you, it seems, and then much like never faints. I'll go with Surf again, just so we could get rid of this thing. Uh, or Golbat could do it for me! Hooray! I could have just used Ice Punch and gotten the super effectiveness, but I like getting damage on both their Pokemon, which is nice. Uh, let's see, pretty good for Perugly, and pretty good for Golbat, around the same area. Sludge Bomb is a great to deal with. Let's see, can we survive it? That's a lot, that's a lot. Okay, hail continues to fall. Oh, wait, the hail may actually... Yeah, we'll knock him a little bit under into the yellow, so I can just use Surf again. And uh, it'll knock them both out. Except for the Citrus Berry, of course. I always forget the Citrus Berry. Oh, yeah. Let's go Staraptor. Now that's a fierce Pokemon to have on your team. Thank you for the Intimidate. Especially in a double battle. I love Intimidate in double battles. Let's go with Ice Punch on Golbat. So hopefully it'll attack uh, per ugly for faster than it. Thank you. Okay, we'll get rid of that. And we're good. Staraptor hopefully it has like something awesome like close combat or whatever. Also is level 45, which is great. Like, feeling a lot less worried about any sort of off-screen training I'm going to have to do for the Elite Four. But that's far off. Let's focus on the here and now. Okay, very good. It's like I knew exactly what I was going to do or something like that. Down goes Perugly. And Hail continues to fall. I believe they only have one more Pokemon left on their side. And that is a bunch of Hail. Because it takes forever to get through this text box. Golbat! Another Golbat! So they had two Golbats, two Bronzors, and then their signature... Uh, Skuntank or Perugly. Then we can take care of that. I kind of wish we could also fight uh, Saturn up here just so we could have all three commanders. I know we just fought him in the Veilstone area, but I don't know. I just would have preferred it that way. Let's go take down. And there you go! That is it!
We have defeated all of the commanders once again. All that remains is the leader. Sheesh, I should have done the fighting myself. Huh, you've toughened up, but you're no match for a boss. Heh, <laughs> my Pokemon are tough, right? I can get even tougher. But you know, that's it for us. We've hit the wall. Jeffrey, I'll help you with this. Hey Jeffrey, this is it. It's your show now. Does that mean it's the greatest show? Everything is ready for the creation of a new world. Now, all will end, and everything will begin. With this, the red chain made from the crystals of the three lake Pokémon. And this, the red chain I replicated with technological means. With these red chains, I will pry open the portal to another dimension. I command that you unleash your power for me. Dialga, the mythical Pokémon, and the master of time, and the other. Palkia, the mythical Pokémon, and the master of space and dimensions! so long for this moment. Dialga and Palkia. Shaping this world is a double spiral of time and space. Yes, the very things that you have the ability to control. You will do my bidding. I will have your abilities as mine. With the power I wield, I will create an entirely new world. The incomplete and ugly world we have now can disappear. I am resetting everything to zero. None can remain. It is all for making the ultimate world. A world of complete perfection. Nothing so vague and incomplete as spirit can remain. I should have expected as much. Yuxi, the bean of knowledge. Azelf, the bean of willpower. And Mesprit, the bean of emotion. The Pokémon have come to protect Sinnoh? Pathetic and worthless. It takes the three of them, the three lake Pokémon that symbolize spirit, to balance either the Pokémon of time or space. But they can't maintain balance against the two. Not when both Dialga and Palkia are here. Their coming here is in vain. So much meaningless drama. Now, Jeffrey, you've constantly interfered with my plans, but you will be forgiven. After all, there will remain no spirit for all the time when I am done. All spirit will disappear. It will be ripped away. From you. From your Pokémon. From those precious to you. It is time. My dream will be my reality! What is this pressure I feel? Something is enraged. Interesting. So, there is a Pokémon that can only appear as a shadow. Regardless, the effort is rash and foolish. I have harnessed the power of Dialga and Palkia. I, Cyrus, won't have 